change is so hard. So then let's offer another alternative. Well, when you begin to create from the field instead of from matter, the only way you can do that is you have to learn how to take all of your attention off your body and become a nobody. Take all of your attention off all the people in your life that you give so much of your attention and energy to because you have an emotion associated with them. And get beyond all the people in your life and go from a someone to a no one. Mm -hmm. Now, if you've worked your whole life being a someone, or if you've been working your whole life thinking that you're your body, you're going to have to work a little harder because that's your identity. Sure. That's what you're associated with. And it's a it, long time of conditioning it's that a you long have time to unwind. Conditioning. And if this was easy, everybody <laughs> would be doing it. So then you have to go get beyond all the things in your life, your cell phone, your computer, your car, and literally go from something to nothing. You have to take all your attention off the place you work, the place you live, the place you need to be, the place you're sitting, and go from somewhere to nowhere. You've got to stop thinking about the predictable future and the familiar past and go right into the present moment and go from some time to no time. And if you do that properly, you become pure consciousness. And that's how you enter the field. Mm. Now, we've done the research on this. We call it getting beyond the self. Now, once you are pure consciousness... You're taking all of your attention off this three-dimensional reality. Now, where you place your attention is where you place your energy. So if you've taken all of your attention off of everything material, there's only one place you're going to wind up, and that is the immaterial in, in realm called the quantum field, an invisible field of energy that unifies and connects everything material. So now when you're creating from the field and you combine a clear intention with an elevated emotion and you're connected and you feel connected, the suggestion of an alternative way to create is that when there's a vibrational match between your energy and some future reality, you actually no longer have to go anywhere to get it. You're actually the vortex, and you will collapse space and time and draw the experience to you. Now, that, to me, is a lot more fun mm. because the experience is the unknown. You can't predict when it's going to happen or how it's going to happen because if you can predict it, it's the known. So then you have to lay down the very thing you use your whole life to get what you want for something greater to occur. Now that goes against generations untold of conditioning and a lifetime of habituation, believing that we're, we're trapped in this material world. And yet I can, I can say to you without a doubt that once you understand that formula, and once you know how to create that kind of brain and heart coherence, the side effect of that is a change in biology, neurologically, chemically, hormonally, genetically. We've measured it. We've seen gene regulation changes in four days. More brain coherence, more heart coherence. Your brain's working better. Your heart is, you're trusting your heart. It's open. There's different chemicals that are released. Oxytocin suppresses survival centers, resets the baseline of a person's trauma or shock. Your immune system goes up. Mm -hmm. You're, you, you lengthen your telomeres. We've measured that too. So you're changing the future of your body. You're extending your life. That's evidence, right? So we, we have the evidence to know that it could happen because we've measured it. But the real evidence is watching the testimonial of someone who says, I had stage four cancer. I was told as a 41-year-old woman that I wouldn't live for more than two months. And I have no evidence of cancer in my body at all. Or someone that's a physician who has Parkinson's disease that's tried everything from the medical route and has one transcendental moment and their tremors and their pain are gone. And now they're chewing food, they're swallowing, uh, they're blowing their nose, they're standing up on their own. Uh, that's energy affecting matter. So we have hundreds and hundreds of testimonials of people that not only heal their body, but created pr pretty profoundly magical things in their life. So you have evidence in the scientific world, you have evidence in the practical world, and evidence is the loudest voice right now. The brain is a record of the past.